everyone welcome back to my channel so this is not a skincare video this is just me doing a little carnival vlog i think i want to i want to try to get at least three vlogs up on this channel for carnival so in, in this video i'm going to be unboxing 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 my carnival costume so that's one video uh, I want to do a video where I basically review my experience with Play With The Band Yuma. This is my second time, but I know that there are a lot of people interested in Trinidad Carnival. I'm going to put out some carnival content. This is going to be the first video that I'm going to put out in this carnival series, I guess. Also, I do have a couple of videos from way back when, when I did um, some carnival costume, DIY carnival costumes. So this time I did not DIY my costume. I just went ahead and bought one because I wanted a big costume and I don't have, I don't believe I have the skills or the energy or the time to create a huge backpack. And you know, so I just wanted to pay for it and not have to worry about, you know, the entire process and worry about sourcing the materials, etc., to make the costume that I want. I did play in Yuma before, but that was back in 2020, but I made my own costume back then. Um, today, I decided to go ahead and purchase a costume directly from the band. So anyways, yesterday I went to pick up my costume and we got a goodie bag. So if you were playing mass, that's what we call it. If you play in mass, um, most of the mass camp, they have scheduled pickup days and then you know you do get a goodie bag now i like the bag i like the material i love this because i can see myself reusing this bag most definitely however i was not impressed with the goodies inside because i remember the last time i played mass with them the goodie bag was there was a lot more in the goodie bag like there were even snacks so this time there was no snacks and um, this time this is the cup there's no yuma logo or anything like that on it which is I'm very disappointed. I do not know what's going on with Yuma, but this, again, this is not a Yuma review. I'm going to, um, you know, make that review after Carnival, okay? But, you know, you do get some, you know, period supplies, Tampax, and you get like the stay free pads, budget thin. So if for whatever reason you have your period during Carnival, which is literally the worst, at least you have some supplies provided by the ban okay um there are some coupons in here uh there is these plastic thingies that you can put your, that you can put your phone to protect your phone i feel like this is good for juve because you don't want paint or mud getting on your phone so i don't think i'm going to be using this for carnival monday and tuesday because i don't think it's much it matches my costume if it was clear okay. this um thing because this is part of the unboxing y'all I can't remember I can't remember what this is called but you can put this on your arms okay and you can put your phone on it you can put it on your thigh and anywhere on your body if you if if you feel so I think you can get it on your on your thigh but you can put your phone in here which I like and this can be quite useful another coupon oh no this is not a coupon I don't know what this is some kind of QR code um a three in one in some coffee some green seasoning yeah this goodie bag is not given at all i am not impressed and that's basically it except for my all access carnival ban so um you have to put this on your wrist and you have to leave it on your wrist for the two days that you play in mass do not lose it because you wouldn't be able to access the ban you wouldn't be able to get any drinks you wouldn't be able to get any food so when you put it on your wrist leave it on for the two days girl like don't even don't even and keep it somewhere safe until carnival so okay. that's the goodie bag look now let's just move on to the costume itself which is why you all clicked on this video so the section that i decided to play in was rosé and in my opinion i think that section really does complement my skin tone my hair color etc because you know i don't choose um costumes just for choosing costumes because first of all it has to be pretty um, I must, the, the color must complement me and, uh, you know, the backpack needs to be, the, the costume needs to be, needs to be on point, basically. So I think that this section, in my opinion, was the, the prettiest section for me. There was another section that I was looking into called, um, Frenzy. 
yeah but i didn't feel like um friendly frenzy has like has like a lot of purple in it and i didn't feel like you know plain mass and purple so anyways the costume sorry i just opened it it came into this thing so i thought when i picked when i went to pick my costume up i thought that it was going to be in a box and it wasn't so i'm like okay this is not tribe girl this is this is not tribe this is humor because i know i remember seeing some tribe unboxing videos and i've seen people got sneakers and they had it had it in like a nice cute little box and everything like that so in this case not really it's just one of these bags and you can flip it over and you know so anyways let's get into the unboxing you like for real this time all right so the first thing is of course the wire bra I did try this on last night because you know I I had to. But anyways, this is what the bra looks like, y'all. And the color and the details are so pretty. Like it comes here and it holds your boobies up. I will definitely have to get some pasties because um you know, I tried bending the wire to fall into my body, but this wire bra is pretty sturdy. Okay, the wire that they use is pretty sturdy, so it's not that easy, you know. But I did manage to bend it just a little, a little to, um, you know, frame my boobs um, onto my body, etc. But I'm still going to get some pasties to wear under it, under this bra, just in case. And hopefully I'll be able to get like um, a flesh tone colored pasty, because that's important. <laughs> So that's the wire bra also in here in here is the sleeve and it's so heavy i'm not going to take this out y'all but this is the sleeve okay it's really heavy you look at the details um this part of the sleeve it comes it drapes your arms like this and it's so beautiful you all wait for my follow-up video so that you can see the whole shebang okay now this is the belt okay i guess i can take the belt out so this is the belt and this is coming right this is gonna you know, look at the detail okay it is so pretty and it just it, the belt comes here this is where the belt is going obviously because it's a belt so this is so pretty y'all this costume i don't know like i feel like camera and the photos that they have online is not doing this costume any justice like you really have to be here to see what it looks like in person because it is so beautiful and i love the detailing of this costume okay so this is the thong and the thong comes with all these attachments on your leg that you tie on your around your leg etc so it's very beautiful again i am here for the detailed work i think the designer of this costume i think his name is david dewa y'all if i say the name wrong that's going to be so embarrassing but i believe his name is david dewa and he um is a top one of the top designers in trinidad for carnival costumes and of course we have the leg pieces these leg pieces come all the way down good like like literally all the way down to your ankles i'm gonna post a picture of the costume somewhere maybe here i'll post a picture of the costume so that you guys can see it okay now this next piece is the headpiece and this is what it's going to look like oh my god y'all this is so this is so pretty this is so y'all this is so pretty okay i don't think i i don't think i have it centered Okay, so I can't, I may have to stick this down with maybe a lash glue or something because it's not, it's not staying. So this is the headpiece. I think the headpiece is so beautiful. Like, oh my God, this is so, this is so pretty. <laughs> like I can't get over how pretty this is, okay? Oops. So this is the wire bra, you know, the headpiece. The headpiece, it looks different. It's like... I feel like it's not really matching the costume, but it does complement the costume. Now, I have the backpack over there, so I'm going to go up with the camera and show you guys the backpack. But other than that, this is basically, this is it. This is it, y'all. This is, oh, <laughs> this is basically it. This is the costume and, oh my God, I am so excited. I cannot wait to put this on and 
I can't wait to show you all what it looks like, but oh my God, I am so excited for Carnival and I'm just looking forward to the experience um, with playing with Yuma. Um, I'm going to see what my experience is going to be like this time um, before I do um, a full review and before I decide if I want to continue to play with this band because there are so many options, you know, so many options. Um, the most popular one of the most popular bands out there is like tribe and i think um pure and rogue and bliss like these bands are very 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 popular y'all but yuma is also a very popular band and they call it they call it the pretty girl band which makes sense because a lot of pretty girls are in that band but anyways so yeah this is the this is the final this is the unboxing so before I go and before I show you the backpack, make sure you make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I do skincare content. I I really ever do carnival content, you because I'm not a carnival influencer. I'm just um, a Caribbean girl um, that lives in Trinidad. That is from Trinidad. That just like to participate in the culture of my country because this is like one of my favorite things about Trinidad is how much we um my light is blinking <laughs> this is my favorite part of being trinidadian and you know embracing this culture and everything like that because you know carnival has a long history it's not just you know music and pretty costumes there's like there's so much history behind carnival and it starts from it basically started from slavery basically when the slave rebelled and they were mocking it's, it's a long history and well, i don't want to get into the history because i mean this is just an unboxing but anyways um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in, a, in another video and stay tuned for the backpack reveal okay y'all this is the backpack i have to i had to hang it from you know pretty close to the ceiling because the backpack is so big y'all like it was a struggle getting this backpack in the car it is upside down because this was the only way i can i would i was able to store it and you know so this is upside down this is the top and these are the bottoms that you know hang on the side of the costume and come down all the way to your legs but this is this is it 